Hey guys, Ron and Bernardo here with Tactical Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the knee. The knee is a short distance strike. I'm going to make sure that I'm going on my toes, that I'm closing the gap here between my calf and my hamstring. That way I'm creating here this ball that I'm driving through with my hips up into my target. When I strike, I want to make sure I come back recoil back with my leg into my stance and I pull pull my opponent towards that knee strike and back into my stance now as you saw in Bernardo's demonstration the knee is generally not done by itself of course I can just throw a knee here but for stability purposes and of course controlling my opponent's posture and hands generally we like to throw the knee from a type of clinch situation so our favorite type of clinch to use for this is an underhook, which helps prevent this arm from doing much, and a head push or an underhook and a bicep tie or wrist tie, once again, to prevent this hand from hitting me and to prevent my leg from being captured and me being taken down. And from here, it's that same knee that you guys saw Bernardo demonstrate. I can go for the groin, I can go for it the chest, I can pull him down and knee him in the face, and of course I can control his posture, spin him around. The other option, which does give me a lot of control over my opponent because I'm controlling their head and neck, is the tie clinch here, where I put palm on top of palm right on the crown of his head, squeeze my elbows together, and I can throw the same knees, I can switch sides. The problem is it's much easier for him to catch me and then pick me down. So our preference once again, underhook, neck control, underhook, wrist tie, or bicep tie to keep this person's posture and hands at bay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel and visit us at tacticalfitnessaustin.com. Yeah!